in the locker room. Paige, Avina, it's Bob on the radio here. Avina, first of all, you hit the thousand point mark in your career today. Congratulations. Uh, just talk about this complete effort and how the juniors led the way today and set the tone. Uh, thank you. Um, you know, we just knew in the tournament, um, us being older guys, we had to step up, but it was definitely a team effort um, throughout the whole game, defensively, offensively, you know, just getting big stops, making big plays. And we knew that was going to be key, um, particularly for this game. Paige, how important was it to see your buds here, your upperclassmen buds, hit some shots early to take some pressure off everybody else? And Aaliyah getting herself established early on, too. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, it was a whole team effort. Um, and I know that a lot of pressure was on me, and I knew my teammates were going to have my back. Um, they performed as well as they have all season, um, and they just really stepped up. I know I started off slow, but the upperclassmen, C, Ian, Liv, and obviously Aaliyah, um, in the post, they just played super well, and I think it was a really good team victory. And I'll ask the last question and let everybody else get going here. You had a team high 30 assists today, season high, 30 assists on 40 field goals. How good a passing team is this really? No, that's that's amazing. We didn't we didn't know that stat, but honestly, we're not we're not really surprised. Um kind of happens every day in practice. And um, you know, we we're we're a very unselfish team and we turn a turn a good shot into a great shot. So it's very um very like us, I like to say. Good job, ladies. Thank you. Hey, Paige, I want to ask you specifically about what Avina did out there today. Um, she's probably not wanting to want to talk herself up, but she was one rebound away from a triple-double. How? And I know you talked, too, about how much she does on the court that people might not always realize, but how just crucial was her game today and what she does really every day when you guys go on the court? Yeah, I was super excited for this game um, just because of the spotlight on it. And I know everybody hyped it up to be Caitlin versus Paige, but I was so excited for our team because I knew that people were going to come and notice and watch our whole team play. I know it's not just me. I know it's everybody. So I was super excited for everybody else, just for them to show the spotlight in, in their eyes. Um, but obviously, yeah, E, she does everything for this team. I said that once before, and she keeps proving my point. Um, and I mean, rebounds, assists, passing, defense, um, scoring, just anything we need her to do, she's going to do it. She's going to do it to the best of her ability. And when, it, when anybody's slacking, she's going to pick up for us. Paige, two moments I want to ask you about. Um, you hit a three and then you kind of swatted the coach on the butt on the way by. Was that kind of a saying, you know, we got this for you? And then, of course, when uh, you took the charge from Caitlin at the end and you, you two kind of exchanged uh, smiles and pats there. Yeah, it's kind of an inside joke between coach and the team. Um, but we were just really excited that Anna came in and hit a huge three. And I just gave him a little pat on the butt just to let him know that um, it was a great play. And then, um, yeah, obviously me and Caitlin are good friends. So um, just me taking that charge on her. Yeah, we exchanged some words, I guess. Do you, do you guys, you guys are both feel like you're, you're peaking right now. It seems like, I mean, this was just a, a tremendous showcase, like you said, Paige, for everyone, but it seemed like everybody's playing well at this point. He said, like you said. Oh, I said that? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> Coach kind of told us in the tournament, um, you know, we, we have no other choice but, <clears throat> but to play good and but to play great. And some teams, you know, some players are going to play good. Some, some players are going to play great. And some players are going to play more than great. Um, so we, know, we just know as a, as a team, we have to play our best. This is a time where all our work has to pay off. Um, from when we first got to campus in June, July, all the hard work that we put in and all the stoppage from COVID, um, just everything that we've been through, all the adversity, um, just sticking together, not being able to go home for Christmas, um, all those things. So we really have to just, we, we talked about it as a team most definitely. Um, but now it's, 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 this is what we're here for. It's March, it's, it's, it's UConn time, it's winning time. So that's, that's what we came here to do. How did Kristen's play affect the confidence of, of, of this team, kind of putting you guys early on, on her back? Um, I told C, I think it was two days ago, that this was going to be her game, um, that she's going to be able to take over and just lead our team. Um, and she came in with that mentality. Um, and especially, I mean, everybody saw her offense, but what she did on the defensive end was huge. Um, I mean, she played well on both sides of the ball. Um, I think her play 
everybody saw it. It was amazing. This is what she does every day in practice. And I was really excited to see her go out there and do it. Um, so I think she not only needs to get credit for her offense, but her defense as well. But for her to come out like that and lead the team, it sort of set the tone for all of us. This is a question for both of you as relative newcomers to UConn. Was just the style of basketball that UConn plays where it really is team basketball. It isn't about one star, one player. Was that something that was appealing to you when you were looking at coming to this program? And how have you seen that develop too over the course of the season where you guys are really coming out and, and playing more and more like a team as the season goes on? Um, I think what's cool about playing here is that, you know, a lot of a lot of different teams can, you know, say, oh, you know, we play team basketball and this and that, but like, we really play team basketball. Like we have no other choice. Um, you know, we have anytime, whatever five is on the court, we have like five killers on the court who can score, facilitate, pass, rebound like crazy, defense like crazy at, at any moment. Um, so, you know, a lot, of, a lot of teams don't have that. We have weapons from on the court, you know, to the bench. Um, so just, we, we all know what, we're great at we all know what we're good at and we we do we do those things and when someone is hurt or when someone's slacking like like Paige said, you know someone picks up for it um so it's it's definitely a a UConn type of culture this this team basketball and it's, it's been like that for decades now uh, Avina Paige had her chance to talk about you and how well you played she came close to a triple double as well today and in the end she never let all this talk about her and Caitlin, you know, get in the way. And she still played a really solid overall game. Can you just talk about how composed she was with all this attention and pressure on her? Really, that's just Paige being Paige. You know, she's really never going to uh, talk herself up. And um, she's super humble. Um, you know, she's, she never made this about, you know, Paige versus Caitlin. She always made it about us versus them. Um, she came out, you know, although she wasn't hitting shots at first, um, she was talking to us like, you know, like she was, she was still being aggressive. She was there for us on the defensive end, defensive end coach took her out and she's one of the loudest cheering on the bench. And when she came back in, you know, she was able to do her thing, but that's, that's what's so, so great about her. You know, she's so young, but she never really gets down on herself. Um, she's able to be young, but still be a huge asset to this team, a huge leader to this team. And. Um, whether she's hitting shots or not, you know, people are going to guard her 94 feet. Um, you know, she, and sometimes she's going to make it from half court or the logo, whatever it may be. That's just Paige being Paige. But, um, you know, we know she's going to step up and the team has got to be ready for that. And we know, and they all know it. She knows it too. Early, earlier in the year, actually, just before the Big East tournament, coach had said that Kristen had her ups and downs and some inconsistencies, and he's sure she would want to play a little bit more consistent. And since then, she has just played lights out. Do you see a different confidence in her or something? Um, yeah, I mean, I think C, for C, it was just getting that confidence. And that's not only her job, but our job as well, to hype her up and sort of be in her ear and always giving her that voice of confidence and just sort of just being that voice of encouragement as well. Um, but for her, I think it was locking in on the defensive end first. And when she started doing that, I mean, she became a lockdown defender on this team. She's taken the best player on every other opposing team and shut them down. Um, so for her to do that and sort of be selfish in that aspect and focusing on the defense first and then the offense will come, I think that took her game to a whole other level. Can both, both of you guys talk about what Liv did today, too? It's going to get lost in, in all these numbers that everybody else put up, but she was really your rock on the, on the backboard for a while. Um, just talk about the, the job you, she did and you guys overall did on the boards. You know, like we kind of touched on before, we're not we're not great and we can't play, you know, our style of basketball unless everyone does their job. You know, Liv was really out there, like you said, being that rock, being that glue for us tonight um, on the boards like crazy, uh, boxing the, their big kid out, stopping her. I don't know how many points she had, but just being super physical down there with her, um, which makes our job a lot easier. So for her for her to do that, be able to rebound and, you know, be aggressive and still making layups down there. We passed to her setting huge screens for us, you know, getting us open, which gets her open sometimes. You know, she was, Liv was just doing live things and that's that's what she's great at. She does it, she has been doing it night in and night out. 
And I think she deserves a lot more credit than she gets um, because this is not the first game. I mean, you even saw it last game against the bigs, against Syracuse um, in their zone. I mean, she really picked them apart. And then obviously playing against the good Syracuse post and then obviously the um, good uh, post at Iowa, they're very hard to guard. And she's been really physical and the coaches have been on her about putting defense first and sort of being physical and using her length. Um, And I mean, whenever we get beat, we know we got live behind us. And we just know that they can't get the ball inside because we have Liv in there as well. So just for her to be that sort of lockdown defender and we can always count on her in there. Um, And then on the offensive rebounds, um, it speaks for itself. I'm sure she got a whole lot of those, um, but just the extra possessions and just the little things that she does for us can never go unnoticed. And that is one of the best feelings when you might, you might get beat sometimes and knowing if Liv is right behind you, (laughs) you yell her name and she's right there. (laughs) She's right there. one last player that's probably going to get overlooked a little bit just because everybody else did so much but Aaliyah stepped into the starting lineup uh, again for you know obviously because Nika's injured and she just really got you going early you know for for a young player uh she she's also playing with a lot of poise isn't she yes physical you know young big body down there just doing what she does setting screens um and just, just making herself known down there. She's not afraid of any contact from anybody. Um, and she's, she's huge on the defensive end as well. Um, and she, she does a really, she does a lot of great things for us. It has been doing a lot of great things for us night in and night out, um, as you've seen tonight in our previous games as well. So we're, we're so proud of her um, being able to, you know, come out, coming off the bench and give us that spark and then, you know, playing the starting role as well. Um, but, you know, we, She's been like that in practice for us, you know, shoot around, all of that. So um, it's, it's not really a surprise to us. Um, she might not get the, the credit that she deserves all the time, but um, everyone has been just been really just doing their job. It, it may be a really small part of this game, but the fact that Anna hit a couple threes today, how much can that mean for you guys going forward if she gets a little bit of confidence and gets, you know, some step back in her game? Yeah, I mean, we need everybody in order to win um, in the Elite Eight and the Final Four and the championship. So we're just trying to take it game by game. But having that confidence now, it sort of builds us up for practice tomorrow and then the Elite Eight on Monday. So just every little thing matters, matters. on March. Um, and so it was really big for her to do that tonight. How did it feel to have coach back on the sidelines to do, kind of give you guys a jolt of energy just to you know want to go out there and win for him after finally getting him back on the sidelines? It almost felt like he was never gone, <laughs> really. You know, we just, we're just so used to having him around all the time. Definitely missing, you know, the first two games. But I think especially to have him back now for the Sweet 16 game and moving forward, um, it's just, you know, we it's just a sense of calmness um, for us just to have have him there. Um, know exactly what we're doing, he's able to call, you know, just just things that we're really used to, switch it up sometimes, like, hey, like, let's do this in in the middle of running back on defense. Um, you know, we trust him, obviously. Um, so it definitely feels good to have him back on the sideline, though. Any other questions for these two? I'll go real quick. Um... I know you guys are probably so focused on Iowa, but do you know anything? Are you going to go back and watch, I guess, the Baylor-Michigan game as it's going on now about your potential Elite Eight opponent? Yeah, definitely going to uh, watch that game as to see, you know, who we're going to play next. Um, celebrate this game for a little bit. You know, it was a huge win for us, um, you know, obviously moving into the Elite Eight and just moving forward. Um, celebrate this a little bit, but then it's, you know, back to work tomorrow, um, scout and practice and all that. <laughs>